This video is going to walk you through the process of making a graph in Excel uh, that would represent density. So we're going to need to plot these points and determine the slope of a line through these points, or the best fit line for these points. So what do we do? Well, I got the data from lab, and it's all right here. I've got volume in this column. I have mass in this column. And what I want to do is make a plot. So I'm going to highlight these and go over here to Insert and click on this part right here where it says Scatter Plots. And I want this kind of scatter plot right here at just these points. And what I can see is I've got my uh, volume on this axis, my x-axis, and I've got mass here on my y-axis, so that's good. What I'm going to do is, um, well, first I want to label these axes. Like, teachers love that stuff, right? So I'm going to put axes titles in there. And when I double click on one of these, I can just simply write over it. So this one here is volume. And this one over here is mass in grams. And let's give this uh, graph a better title instead of just mass. This is mass uh, versus volume for an unknown liquid. Okay, so that kind of takes some care of some of the mechanical things, or at least uh, you know making this look like an actual graph. Now let's put a um, Let's also add a trend line. So I'm going to add, click on this Chart Elements button here, click a trend line, and now a dotted line fills in there. Cool, that's the trend line. But that trend line actually represents the density of my liquid. So I would like to get the slope of that trend line. And one of the easier ways to do that is I can right click on the trend line, and then click on Format Trend Line. I'm going to get all these different options. And this is a linear trend line. And down here, I can display the equation for the trend line on the chart. And here's my trend line. And that's the equation. So what it means is that this is a slope-intercept form of a line, and I've got y equals mx plus b, m is my slope, m is 1.0038. Cool. Now what if I wanted to do this without making a graph? Well, I can actually just come over here and write the slope of the line and say this cell here is going to equal slope and then a parentheses, and then uh, Excel does a really good job of prompting me for the things I'm going to need. So here's my known y's, my masses comma, my known x's. Once I have those two things in there, end parentheses and hit enter, and I get I can hit slope. And that tells me what the slope is. Again, just the same thing as I see over here, but without actually having to make the graph. Sometimes you actually need that slope and want to do some math with it. What if I wanted the intercept? So I can make a, you know, a thing here called intercept. And um, these are just labels, by the way. They don't have to be here. But if I type in here equals, that is now a formula is going to go here intercept, parentheses, it prompts me again for my known y's, so here's my known y's, comma, my known x's, and parentheses, enter, and I get this, 0.11995, and just like that, 0.11999 is my y-intercept over here. So this is a kind of powerful way to make a really quick graph, especially when things are linear. It works out nicely. If you're doing this for me in my classes, it's a pet peeve of mine, but I just don't really love these um, grid lines. So I always delete them. So I click and delete. Outside of that, it's a beautiful looking graph, and we can go ahead and use that for what we need to use it for. I hope this was helpful to you, and uh, I'll see you in class.